CNBC's Meg Terrell covers health and science for us. Meg, doctors have already been using this drug to treat mild COVID cases. Well, that's right, Chef. So remember, this is the first drug that President Trump received when he was diagnosed with COVID. It's been on the market since late 2020 to try to prevent hospitalization in people just diagnosed with the disease. But this is the first time we've seen that a drug like this can benefit patients who are already so sick they're in the hospital. But it only worked for certain patients, those who don't make their own antibodies to the virus. And it makes sense based on how Regeneron's drug works. It's a combination of two antibodies bodies, essentially delivering the immune response to the coronavirus as a medicine. In this trial in the UK of about 10,000 people, about a third of patients didn't make their own antibodies. And for them, the drug reduced their risk of death by 20 percent. This was on top of other medicines that are standard of care for hospitalized patients. Now, Regeneron's is one of three antibody drugs on the market in the U.S. for COVID, all cleared only for use early in the disease. But doctors have been disappointed with their uptake. They're mainly given as IV infusions. And right after patients get diagnosed, it can be complicated to get them to an infusion center to receive the drug. But in the hospital setting, it's much easier to administer an IV medicine. Importantly, Regeneron says its drug retains potency against the major variants of concern. And while it asks the FDA to expand its authorization, former FDA commissioner Dr. Scott Gottlieb tells me he thinks doctors will start using the drug on appropriate hospitalized patients right away. And even though vaccines are lowering case numbers and hospitalizations dramatically, there are still an average of 2,000 hospital admissions for COVID daily in the United States, according to the CDC. So still a lot of need for good treatments. Shep? Meg, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.